Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com. And in today's video, we wanna talk about how we can use SmartSuite to calculate the most recent dates or the furthest back dates as we're talking about things like when was the last time that we talked to a prospect? When was our last contact to date? And this is something that's relevant in a lot of use cases. In fact, I was talking to someone in the SmartSuite community this weekend, and we were talking about how to find when certain ingredients they were using in candy bars were going to expire and find out when that was going to expire first. So there's lots of applications where we can use this to uncover a date and out of these activities, which date is happening first. I'm inside of SmartSuite and we're taking a look really at two tables or two apps. We've got our contacts and our interactions with those contacts. And these interactions could be things like phone calls or emails as we're conversing with our contacts who might be prospects that we're working with. So we want to be able to identify when was the last time that we talked to this contact to determine, hey, maybe it's now time to follow up with that individual. Now, in these interactions, I'm keeping this really simple for now. I've got a status, I've got a due date, and then essentially we've linked this back to our contacts table where each of these interactions is tied to a single contact. So the goal here is to be able to understand these different interactions that we have. What we want to say is, when was the most recent one? So it should come back with an answer of March 15th. Let's head over to our contacts table. And typically, in other systems, you would probably think of this as a roll-up. And so if we were to search for the roll-up field and use this, and you've probably seen this in my other videos, or you might have experienced this yourself, is that roll-ups today are a little bit limited in terms of their functionality. They're great when it comes to simple use cases, but what we'll find is that it's not actually equipped for things like dates. So if I were to look at my link to interactions and select a rollup field, I don't see any of the date fields. They're really looking for things like currency or numbers to be able to calculate. So we're not able to actually use a rollup, but that's okay. And you probably know what the answer to this is if you've watched some of these videos in the past, is that we can use formula fields to still let us do the same kind of rollup functionality that we want. So let's create a formula. And in this formula, we'll need to go to our advanced editor here and we'll call this last contacted. And in our formula, it's really quite simple. We need to use some kind of aggregation formula. And to do this, because we want to uncover the most recent, so that's closest to today's date, we want to use the max function. There's also a min function. So in the case of the individual who was looking at ingredients, they want to look at the date for this in the past. That's where we could use min. But I'm using max to say what closest to the future, closest, or closest to the present, I should say, what date it is that we're looking at. Now, in this case, we want to take a look at our linked to interactions. We use that with the braces around this linked to interactions. That'll show blue if that's working. And then we're gonna add a dot to be able to identify the field that we're looking at. In this case, we're looking at the due date field. So we'll use that. And that's all we need to do. The system should take care of the rest for us. We'll press add field. And you'll notice that March 15th is that date that was selected by looking at all of the related interactions for that Angela. And it's noticing that the most recent or the max date, the largest date, is March 15th. Therefore, that is what's returned as our last contacted. Now, the great part is, is with the power of formulas and being able to use formulas inside of other formulas, you know, the next natural progression of this might be to say, well, how long between these, uh, maybe we do a, a date diff. We could say how long between our last contacted and we could use now, as in today's date, and put that in days to say how long of time has expired. And we could call this days from today or contacted days from today, however we want to think about that. And then that could tell us, oh, it's been four days since that has occurred. So there's lots of powerful ways that we can use that rollup in conjunction with other formulas. Maybe we make an automation. If it's been so many days since we last contacted them, let's create a task for ourselves, which then we'd see in my work to go reach out to those individuals. Lots of combinations, lots of possibilities of what we can do from here. But I hope this has been helpful for you to see how we can actually use rollups for dates to be able to understand 
when the most recent activity or when the furthest away one was in the past. If you have any questions about your smart suite setup, feel free to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering a free 30-minute consultation.